Oh, it's good to get away from headquarters, huh? Uh, you can say that again, Chief. Fresh air, peace of mind. Uh, hey, Ford, let me ask you a question. You ever get overwhelmed by what we do? Never. But, I mean, it's kind of lonely being in the core. You know, deep cover, no normal relationships, cut off from your family, always having to battle minions of Satan all day. That's why I play golf. Yeah, well, I, I, golf is good, golf is great, but it's just a game, Ford. No, 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 it's more than a game. It's an escape. Escape from yourself. I mean, what's life anyway? It's an absurdity. It's like a polar bear running around an igloo shot and radar. Pardon? Life's an absurdity. Like a polar bear running around an igloo, hollering radar. Radar? Yeah. And how do you get away from that absurdity? You retreat. You chase a little white ball around a big green field into a little black hole. It's just a form of meditation, dude. On the beach. All right, don't stop your swing. You gotta go right through the ball and the sand, right through. I know how to play out of the beach, you fish. I told you, you gotta swing through. Shut up. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. What the hell's that? Someone in here, man. Dude. Sudden death. A man torn from his family, murdered in his prime, only to return to Earth resurrected. We'd like you to become an operative in the Corps. Fight evil. Save soul. As an agent of the Almighty Corps. Chandler, meet your new partner. With no magic, no special powers. Forbidden from intimate contact. Unrecognizable to those from their past lives. Chandler Smythe and Henry McNeil now fight to save lost souls. Against the minions of darkness. Deals with the devil are bad. It's our job to stop them. Is he always like this? It is a battle of good versus E. G versus E. That's what it is. World of death collided today. The tragic result, the passing of two-time tour money leader and famed raconteur, Rennie Burrell. Burrell's body discovered late this afternoon by two local duffers. Hey, George duff Burrell. this but watch. Burrell was partially buried in a fairway bunker here at the majestic Crookside Golf Course in Pasadena, California. Friends and family echoing the sentiment that Rennie had found this bunker several times just this week, usually with a forward. You guys just found this guy. Number one golfer in the world just lying there in the sand. Yeah, it sucks, but isn't this a job for the cops? Well, normally, but I checked upstairs with Alfred, and he says nobody named Burrell checked in the pearly gates in the last 48 hours. And you can bet that if he ain't upstairs, he's downstairs. If he's downstairs, it's a gimme, then he made a Faustian deal. Okay, so Burrell's a Faustian. Big deal. Who will want him dead? You guys don't watch golf, do you? Not really. This guy is arch rival, Kip Felton. He's our prime suspect. You're ranked just behind Burrell on the tour rankings. I mean, this is Stone Cold versus The Rock. This is Ali Frazier. Every week, these guys battle it out in the tournaments. And they happen to loathe each other. So you think this guy felt and might have had something to do with Burrell getting bumped? So what? So he could move up to number one? Looks like it worked. We also think that Felton might have cut his own little Faustian bargain at the same time. What? So that he could get Burrell bumped off. Hey, my instincts tell me it's a definite possibility, Chan. Uh, Where'd your moms? Return to regularly scheduled programming. Country clubs. I thought it was a likely place to find more like some hate joints like this. Uh, you have a right to. Hey, you just have to keep me cool here, Chan, because I just may go off up in here. You know, just break out into some action shit. Man. Don't go crazy. Just because Kip's a racist pig, don't make him a warlock. Can I get you a card, sir? Shut up before I break your neck. How come you asked the white man if you could get that, huh? Malcolm, if you don't stop acting like that, we are never going to find out who killed Burrell. Just let me do the talking from now on. Eh? I'm going to let my fist do the talking. I'm telling you, if the South had one more ball-bearing factory, it would all be different. Nice and easy, 
and go on home to Tuscaloosa. Kip Felton, Chandler Smythe, how you doing today? Can't complain. I'm here because uh, I want to do you a big favor. Uh oh. See that guy? Uh, well, my partner. <laughs> He don't like you. Geez, my heart's broken. Fellas, you want to step aside? I'm trying to putt here. I know, but right now, I'm the only thing preventing him from just, you know, waltzing over here and kicking the ever-loving crap out of your white ass. Boys, I, I don't know where you're from, but a country club has certain rules of decorum. Like telling racist jokes. Like telling racist jokes. And limiting his membership to white Republicans. Okay, since you all want to get so froggy, just jump in. What do you all want? He wants some answers about the Rennie Burrell murder. He thinks maybe you cut a deal. A Faustian deal. To have him killed. Okay, fellas. <laughs> you best be getting off this putting green. Rennie was a friend of mine. Kip, did you make a deal to have Rennie Burrell killed? I'm gonna give you both to the count of three to get out of the line of my sight. One. 15, 22, 35, 40. Nice work, Farrakhan. You wanna help me clean up? I'll help you put him in the trunk of the Buick. Think he might have jumped the gun a little bit, Henry? I mean, we don't even know if he's a Faustian. Well, we could have kept pussyfooting around him like you were doing, or we could break on his ass and get a confession and be home in time for the NBA tonight. That's for oh, man, he is just beating him like a red-headed stepchild. I've never seen him so wound up. I pity the poor gringo that angers Senor Henry. Don't pity Felton. This is crazy. Yeah, the guy's a murderer. No, 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 you can 86 a tap dance, Kip. I know you are. My name is Kip. Fitzgerald felt it. And you got a deal to have your rival on the golf tour, Rennie Burrell, buried in the sand trap. You are not insinuating. Shut up, Kip, shut up. We both know you made a Faustian deal. Admit it. How come I don't get to get a phone call? Because I'm not a cop. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. This is some sort of pagan sex ride, isn't it? It's going to be worse than that if you don't confess. You cut a deal, didn't you? Oh, okay, that was bad. No, I don't know what you're talking about. No, 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 no. You hated him, didn't you? You hated Burrell. Oh, that rivalry bullshit between me and Burrell was a media stunt. It was part of Burrell's deal with Spiffy Shoes. He just stumped my ass. It's true. I mean, take a look at tennis, you know? If you don't have Borg McEnroe, you have Sampras Chang. Who the hell wants to watch that? You see Sodom, he says gullible, huh? Huh? That's true. We had a timeshare together in the Hamptons. Well, you'll say anything, won't you? Oh, you gotta believe me, please. Just check it out. Look, if there was a Bible in this pagan hellhole, I would swear on it. I'm gonna give my associates five minutes to verify, all right? And if you were and vacate together, I'm gonna grip it and rip it. Son bitch. Core division out in the Hamptons says it checks. Felton and Burrell were co-owners of a little French Normandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what this means? It means Henry's been beating the shit out of an innocent guy. He's not a Faustian, Henry. Just another Bible-beaten bigot. You can't get away with this, you know. Oh, well, yeah, we will. Look, if you got a problem with us, why don't you just go tell somebody what happened to you? Oh, trust me. Trust me, I will. I know private investigators. I know militia people. I am a member of the NRA. Uh, Kip, I think Henry's right. Why don't you just go tell the world that you were, you know, kidnapped by a couple of bounty hunters for God and that they uh, tried to get you to admit that you'd made a deal with Satan. Go tell the world that, see what happens. Yeah, a couple of angels kick your ass. Tell them that. Yeah, go on, Kip, spread the word. Yeah, evangelized. I'm going to get out of here. All right? Yeah. Hurry up. And lay off the racist jokes. Well, that was a dead end. Well, if Kip Felton didn't kill Rennie Burrell, he did. Sure is a nice night, huh, Rennie? Working out the kinks in that swing? What happened to you? They cut you off at the bar, Bill? Not a very nice way to greet the man who got you your first shoe contract. I told you once, Bill, I ain't doing it your way anymore. I'm gonna make it on my own. Oh, beauty. My hands are a little ahead of the club. That, and you've missed the cut in your last four tournaments. We all know it's a mental game, Bill. Oh, Ren, 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 I feel for you. Two years ago, you win the Masters, the Players' Championship. An unheralded caddy from Macon, Georgia, the working man, made good. Of course, with a little bit of help from the boys downstairs. I want out, Bill. I, I want to renounce. Rennie, it's too late for that. You sold your soul to become the money leader, remember? You see your Faustian bargain. It's a done deal, Ren. All sales are final. So, Bill, 
Have you seen the new Rennie Burrell autograph driver? Oh, Ren, you really think you can get a signature wood without me? You really think so? No, I don't, Bill. I know I needed you once. But I don't really need you anymore. Kind of biting the hand here, aren't you, Ren? Oh, Ren, you're not following through. It's just like your last tournament. Get it out! Why don't we work on your grit? You win a couple of tournaments, Ren, and it's all attitude. You're so disrespectful. I am not going to burn in hell for you, Bill. I'm a good man. Ren, you're not even a good golfer. If you don't let me renounce, you're going to have to kill me. Well, Ren, you just took the words right out of my mouth. Whoever it is, he's out there somewhere. And we got to find him. Libby, with Burrell gone, we're going to need to find a new pitchman for Spiffy. Somebody with more youthful appeal. Think deep, everyone. Someone unlikely. Mm. How about a burn victim? Not that deep, Libby. No, somebody that we can all relate to. Somebody we can all root for. Mm. Mm? So I guess that eliminates Ryan Leaf and any member of the Duke Blue Devils. Golf needs new blood, Libby. It needs a new face. Somebody not from the cloisters of privilege, but with a real street vibe. Talent's not important, Libby. This is about image. Yeah, I started LaFreak off at the tender age of one and a half. Yes, sir. And check this out. I made a splint for his arm so he get used to keeping it straight like this. See? Ah, see you like? Ah, Creole, you speak English. Very good, I see. <laughs> you know what? I keep on a very strict protein diet, too. Very little carbs. Ain't that right, LaFreak? Yeah, big match with no buttons. Do you let me have candy? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No way. No refined sugars ever crossed my boy's lips. Now what, boy? Talk now, boy. Oh, yeah. Well, sir, what do you think? Call off the dogs, Libby. We just found new blood. Something diabolical going down at the Muni. I said the freak. Hey, how you doing, the freakinator? Freaky deaky, huh? <laughs> Hey, yo, Lamont, come get this honky out of my face, man, before I bust a cap in his A ass. Just chill. Let the man talk. We here at Spiffy Shoes realize the potential in Lafrique to be a global ambassador for the game of golf. Global ambassador? Yeah, I like that. Tell me more. Let me ask you something, Lamont. Where would you like to be in, uh, say, ten years? Well, ideally, I'd like to be on one of them cruise ship commercials. <laughs> you know, Disney got that island they own, ain't right. they? Let, let me just take a swing at this question for you, Lamont, if I may. You'd be chilling, <laughs> right? Cold, lamping, kicking back, and living fat off the freak's mad quan, right? Making the phone calls from the Lexus uh, with the fur coat, am I right? Yeah! Right. <laughs> because what is every overzealous show parent's dream, Lamont? The kid blows up, and there you are, sucking on the sugar tit. Point taken. Now, I don't want to sound overconfident, but... Um, but we guarantee we can make this happen for LaFreak. The point is that we can guarantee that LaFreak will become the number one money earner in golf in the entire world. Ooh. Oh, yeah, baby! What do we do now? Well, uh, uh, of course, as uh, LaFreak's legal guardian, you're going to have to sign a contract for him. Hey, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Show it to me. Where is that? Let me have your hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Just the blood. That's it. That's it? <laughs> That's simple. <laughs> All right. Hey. Just, hey, no, 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 no. Oh, there you okay. go. You got to do it. I like this brother connection well, you got okay. going on there. All right. Okay. We're in the money. Hey. We're in the money. We're in the money. We're in the money. <laughs> to find the killer, we must think like the killer. <laughs> hey, man, just shut up already. I'm just trying to help here, man. In case you haven't noticed, we got nothing to go on right now. <sighs> Wait, what would Columbo do? You know, I hated Columbo. Well, what about Quincy? Kind of an autopsy guy, you know? Not planning on cutting Watkins open. Besides, those shows are dated, you know? Okay, well, what would David Crusoe do? He would uh, quit the show and flare out in feature films. I know, but who the hell, but... Right, let's just take this thing logically, then. Um, good cops win Stonewall. Always return to seeing the crime. crime. After you, my friend. Some more clues, so coming back to the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah, I saw something like this on Nash Bridges once. Yeah, except the killer we're looking for is also a Morlock. What kind of clues are we looking for, man? I don't know, some little trinket the cops are too stupid to find. Yeah, then it's a good thing I brought my nice new metal detector. Did you put some nice new batteries in your nice new metal detector? Hell yeah. I'm ready for action now. Hey! 
Hey, scene of the crime right here. Okay, okay, I'm just doing my thing. Ford was playing right here out of the sand. Okay. And the guy was just laying here, kind of like, you know, Ford. Man, would, all right, if you shut up, I can hear something here. Whoa, 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 hold on, wait, dig right there. Whoa. Huh? Whoa, look at that, man. What's up? That's a buffalo head nickel, man. Let me see that. Check that out, man. It's like in mint condition. 1984. No, it's a buffalo head nickel, man. You took care of your nut on that metal detector right here. Hey, yeah, man, that's not what we're you looking know, for, all right? Come on. Put it in my pocket. Whoa, wait. Look at this. It's like an arrowhead or something. Dude, it is an arrowhead, Henry. Check it out. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm part Indian, part Blackfoot. Get over here, man. What? Look at this. What? You reading the manual again? Now look at this. Got a cufflink, man. See that? WTK. What was somebody doing in a sand trap with cufflinks on it? Not playing golf. You think they're just paying their respects? With a metal detector, no. Those are the perps returning to the scene of the crime. It's like a full-on clue, dude. No, yeah, man. We should keep the plot alive. Freeze the detector! Oh. I said drop the detector! Let me handle this, all right? Get down with your buddy. You guys think we're too stupid to stake out the scene and wait for the killer to return, huh? Dude, there is no law Shut up. against being in a sand trap. Uh, uh, Ready, Burrell? Huh? Does that ring a bell? What am I right? Oh. Give it right to an ass kicking. Yo, man, what's wrong with you, man? Oh. That felt good. <laughs> yeah, Martha, this is Officer Reese. We're down here on the, uh, what, 17th hole of the Crookside Golf Course. We've apprehended two suspects in the Rennie Burrell murder. Ah! Oh, God. Shut up. <laughs> Help, we need backup. Troy's being violated by a large Caucasian male. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's the last time we were trying to see him. Yeah. Yeah. But we got what we came for. All righty. Now, the first thing we need to do is uh, spruce up the freak's public image. A name change. Well, that's good, Libby, but no, I'm thinking more along the lines of a name change. Now, the freak, it's a beautiful moniker, but it is a bit, um, regional. We need something that's going to appeal to everyone. Well, you know, I beg to differ. My son's name is part of a long-standing family heritage, you know. Well, Lamont, I love heritage. Heritage, yes, but we want something catchy, aggressive, universal. Hey, yo. How about the dominator of golf? Mm, yes, but we're not quite there yet, I don't think. Now, I'm thinking... <laughs> oh, no, never mind. No, 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 what? What? Spit it out. Well, all right, the golfing MC. Oh, hell no. Hell no, uh -huh. stupid idea. All right, um, next. How about Cougar Pines? Cougar Pines, we like that. that. Damn, I like Cougar, that. Cougar, spiritual, yet strong. It has the, the whiff of cat-like reflexes. Yes, Pines, earthy, grounded, stable, very good, Libby. Two dunks for Libby. Yes, he <laughs> Hombres, this doesn't mean anything. It's just a ponyo. How you say? Cufflink. It's a name. WTK is not a name. It's three initials. It could be anybody. And even if you're lucky enough to narrow it down to the, say, 400 people in Los Angeles with these three initials, it doesn't mean they killed Burrell. You're so negative, as you know that? Mira, you come in here, interrupt me in the middle of watching Sports Center. Pero, what do you expect me to do? So, without further ado, I would like to introduce golf's new blood, huh? A young man who I feel, and I'm not alone in this, is going to revolutionize the world of golf, Cougar Pines. He's a little shy. Okay, stand up, be counted. Come on, Cougar. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? How y'all feeling? Come on, Chandler, let's call somebody who cares. Hey, H, wait a okay, second. Come on, feeding frenzy here, come on. Mr. Kaplan, what's the nature of your agreement? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> we've uh, secured a, um, boy, how shall I put this, a lifetime contract with Mr. Pines, one from which he will reap ample benefits. My God, Bill Kaplan. It's William Kaplan. And William Kaplan is... W.K. Looks like Cougar's shooting from the rough. Look for a deck. 
I appreciate your offer, but Chandler and I can handle this. Yeah, like you handled Felton? That could happen to anyone, all right? Whatever, but ever since we put you guys on the Burrell murder, we've been losing kids to Faustian deals. Well, at least we figured out Kaplan was behind it all. Give us a little credit. Yeah, we don't need your help to get this cougar kid to renounce. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, Chan, but considering your track record of late, we just can't take that chance. Getting renunciations takes technique. Allow Deck and me to give you a little refresher. Too damn close in there. What y'all want? Mr. Jackson, I'll be brief. We know you cut a deal with the devil so that your son could be a golf prodigy. Yeah, so what's your point? We would like you to renounce that deal and save your son's soul. Otherwise, my partner's going to smash every single window in your Lincoln out there. Oh, no, not the Lincoln. The Lincoln. You wouldn't dare. You ain't got the... You bluffing. We would. I don't believe you. Now get the hell off my porch before this nigga go crazy on you. Deck? Interesting strategy. You call that technique? Oh. Quit! I don't call that technique. Oh, the tire's flat. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, no! Look at my baby! You bastards! Oh, you all wanna play, huh? All right, fine. That's all right. Hey, let's tear that bitch up! No! I'm gonna get me! I'll leave every damn day to win you hit me! Whatever. You want me to renounce? Hell no! I'll never renounce! Ever! Look at me! Hey! Look here! Here's another spot over here! I'm gonna miss this bus! Don't go! Don't. Yeah, Mr. Jackson, we're gonna be on you like white on rice. We'll be back. You go ahead, mister! You'll never break me! Nobody can break me! We'll see. Yeah, we'll see, all right! You gave him every chance. We're going all the way to the top! You hear me? We're going all the way! You filthy slides! Oh, Get off bye. my neighborhood! Bye-bye! <laughs> Look at my car! You see that kid renounce? Must have missed it. You guys just don't get it, do you? Apparently not. You never get a renunciation the first trip to the rodeo. You gotta give him a little meat tenderizer, soften him up for the final blow, you know? You win next time around that, Jackson. He will be begging me to tear up that deal. Okay, I did some research on WTK, also known as Bill Kaplan, the head of Spiffy Shoe Company. Well, it turns out that every athlete he has signed to an endorsement contract had enormous success. Michael Borden... All right, so Jenner. obviously he's a Morlock. See, if you give him your soul, he will be number one in sport. But how do we get close to him? What is today? Tuesday. Martes, the Princeton bar down on Flower Street. And why in the hell would we want to go there? <laughs> because that's where he drinks every Tuesday night with his golf buddies. Oh, I knew there was a reason we kept him around. What's the matter with you, man? Huh? What are you doing? Trying to take the edge off. Edge off of what? I'm sick of it, all this devil stuff, you know? I'm just, I'm sick of it. I'm sorry I'm not some action hero Nazi. Man, we do this kind of stuff at least once a week, Chan. <sighs> exactly. So I know from experience that some kind of physical confrontation is going to happen tonight, all right? Somebody is going to get shot or stabbed or buried alive. Guaranteed. And I, you know, it's not easy for me stabbing somebody with a knife soaked in the blood of an innocent. You're tripping, man. Well, maybe you've numbed yourself to it all, Henry. That works for you. But I feel, I do, I get stressed. And I know that you feel too, you know, somewhere in that little Grinch-like heart of yours in some dark recess, I know you're stressed. No, nah, man, not me, man. I'm all George Gervin style, you know what I'm saying? Iceman cool as can be fine you just slip into denial then the denial is underrated you should try it sometime you could get your head blown off henry in the next five minutes we're about to go waltzing into a den of morlocks henry this bill kaplan guy's the real deal the living dead and he could end your second chance at life tonight give me that Yeah, I don't care what people say. 
You're all right. Man, I gotta say, man, you're like the best partner I've ever had. No, no, man. No, no. You know, sometimes it's like, yeah, I'm just trying to keep up with you, you know? Uh, we're not really him, man. We're doing stuff. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I'm, I'm just, I'm watching you, and you got, like, skills, man. <laughs> No. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. No, thank you, man. You got the skills. We make a good team. That's right. So, messing people okay. up. All right. Let's just go in there, man. Both of the arrows. Mm. Right, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Deep six to sneaking around. Crap. Yeah. Dictate some terms. Right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Hit that. Let's <laughs> go. Oh, come on. Uh, bourbon need to make it quick. Aren't you back yet? Hmm? I'm not your damn waiter. And in case you were wondering, him and I are members of the Corps. Uh Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. Let's get it out on the bar here. And we are here to kick your Morlock ass. So, look, we can do this easy. Or you can make it hard. Huh? Oh, how about hard? Oh. Let's dance. Mm, Nice try. Oh, damn, man. Oh, it's called Cut Your Ass, man. Where are you coming? Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Not so fast, Captain. Time to join the man downstairs. Wait, 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 Look, you kill me, huh? all right, yeah. and you can kiss Lee Cooker Pie goodbye, all right? Now, he is never going to run out. Only way you're going to come out of it smelling like a rose is if I rip up the contract. Oh, no. Why don't no, we no, talk no. about a friendly little wager? No, I'll tell you what. Why don't I just stick this up your nose? Huh? Tomorrow morning, one game of golf, match play. Oh. If you win, I rip up the contract, then... <laughs> Should I win? Damn. I claim your soul. Wait, come on, man. What are you waiting for? Just ice him. Yeah, let me go through that. All right, how about this? It's absolutely necessary to kill me right now. Or are you just afraid that you can't beat me, black man? Uh, well, I'll whip your butt anytime. Oh, don't fall for that, Henry. Time huh? to go tomorrow, Henry. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you will, black. All right. All right. Yeah, we gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna right. go. Yeah, we're gonna do this. <laughs> Looks like Henry has what you might call a gambling problem. The stakes of today's match are needless to say high. Should Mr. Kaplan emerge victorious, he wins the soul of Mr. McNeil. Should Mr. McNeil win, he saves young Cougar Pines from the depths of hell. All right then, straight match play. The tee points to the gentleman from the car. Miss McNeil will tee off first. So how you feeling, Hollywood? No pressure, baby. Ready to hit some birdies. Remember this, polar bear running around an igloo. Say what? This could suck. Well, relax, McNeil. We'll be on the green in, uh, seven or so. <laughs> of a good shot, sir. It'll do. Looks like your way, McNeil. Huh? It means he's closer to the green. Mr. Kaplan is actually on the green. Mr. McNeil will play from the rough. This is too easy. Why don't you try it left-handed, sir? Huh. Well, that would be sort of a challenge, wouldn't it? <laughs> what the heck? Like the old uh, frat house days, huh? I think it's got a chance. With that eagle, Mr. Kaplan goes to minus two. So he's amphibious. So what? Bill Kaplan takes a five-stroke lead onto the second hole, where he will tee off first. Beautiful drive. 
McNeil shoots from the rough. That's a one-stroke penalty. 30 for Cap. Bogey for McNeil. Perfect approach shot for Cap. Chapman has an eight-stroke lead after only three holes. McNeil on the beach again. Off for Cap. Another bogey for McNeil. McNeil now down ten strokes. Bogey for McNeil. Double bogey for McNeil. Henry McNeil cannot catch him. Right. Another 30 for Cap. Bill Chapman can do no Henry wrong. Henry McNeil is just over. This is becoming a blow. Why? Why, what? Somebody say something. Okay, I'll go first. <laughs> Sorry. It's not like I'm meeting the shank, all right? We know, we know, Henry. Remember what I said about the polar bear and the igloo? Oh, not that again. No, please. this is good. No, listen to me. Henry. Polar bear, igloo, radar. Egg man. Ah, save your breath, Ford. It is obvious that Hen just doesn't understand. Henry. Just relax, man, okay? That's all you gotta do. Hello! Hello there, Mr. McNeil. Are you ready to concede? Don't you have a hostile take over the plan or something? Just trying to rattle you, Hen. No need. I think he's doing that for himself quite effectively. I'm a second half team. Oh, well, that's very good, because you are down by 16 strokes, oh my. 17, sir. 17 strokes. With only nine holes to play. Well, I'm just saving myself for a dramatic comeback, all right? Well, if you're so sure, perhaps you would like to go, uh, oh, double or nothing? Oh, man, how do you go double or nothing with your soul? I can bet your soul, sir. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute, boss, man. Uh, that's my soul. And in exchange, you get out of the soul business. All your contracts, not just cougars, all of them. You got a deal, brother. All right, sister. <laughs> you out of your gourd, Henry? Well, he was Jesus. disrespecting me, man. What you want me to do? 17 down with nine to go. That's disrespect. Bitten Chandler's soul. Ford, can he do that? Ah! Come on, let's get out of here, go and save Cougar's soul while we oh, still got a chance. Yeah, Chandler is obviously yeah, Go ahead, yeah. go, 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 get out of here, see if I care. Done! All right, wait, 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 let's all calm down here. We're getting a little frustrated, okay? Dex, right, let's go see if we can get Cougar to run out. You're right, Chandler is a goner. Yeah, I'm straight. You bet my soul. Don't gag. Hmm, might get out of here early. Look, um, even though you're down 17 shots with nine to play and uh, it's pretty much over, even if you did play decent golf, which is highly unlikely because you have no idea what you're doing, I just want you to know that, that, that I believe in you. You're my partner, and I believe in you. You do? I do, definitely. And if you believe in yourself, Henry, you can do this. It's just a little ball, a little stick, and a little hole. Eye of the tiger, Henry. Eye of the tiger. And uh, one more thing. Hair of the dog. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I had time. Woo! Ah. I had time. I had time. I had time. Come here. Go get him, baby. Totally ran out. That's the way it's done. I believe you are away, Mr. Kaplan. How do you like them apples, Kaplan? Looks good, H. Get there. Get there. Get there. Oh! A birdie by Mr. McNeil, his first of the day. Welcome to your nightmare, Mr. Bill. Oh, and the nightmare just gets scary. McNeil shaves three strokes from the lead, but can he possibly keep this up? That one finds the fairway. Mr. Kaplan doesn't look sharp. That one finds the foul. Bad luck for the duck. McNeil, much more relaxed. Oh. McNeil finding his stroke. Oh. A bogey for Kaplan. Lead is now 12 strokes. Another far for McNeil. Lead is down to eight. Chaplin finds water again. Jackie this up. 30 for McNeil. Another 30 for Henry McNeil. Cannot miss. He's in the zone. Chaplin's lost his cool. This is a monumental comeback. Henry's gacking it up on the golf course. So talk to the kids. See what he says. The break! Cougar! Yeah. 
Your dad here? Oh, yo, he's out buying a Lexus. Huh? My name is Decker Benbow. This is my partner, Ford. We're here to help you. Can we come in? Get your black ass I'm kind of busy now. I'm with my girl Sherry, you know? Hey, you're in a lot of trouble, young man. Your father sold your soul to the devil so you could be a golf prodigy. Yeah, I know. Well, look, we need to find your dad so he can renounce that deal. Look, look, man, we, we already got a church, bro. We're not part of any uh, religious organization. No? No. Hang on a second. Yeah. Wants me to hang on a second. I'm hanging on. Hanging on. It's a nice kitchen. Still hanging on, hanging on. I got something for you. Gun! Yeah. Ah, yeah, I know where you're from. You're from one of them damn copes. The copes in Hollywood. The Viz New Harry Carey technologist. Yo, your mind is your best technologist. Get the hell out of here. Yo, you come back, I'm gonna bust a cap in your ass. And you brainwash my cousin. That's the third time this week we've been mistaken for technologists. Oh, tell me. Mr. Kaplan, Mr. McNeil, you're tied at 17 holes. This for the match. Just breathe and stroke it. Just shut up, Libby. Oh, yeah. Mr. Kaplan now lies four. Mr. McNeil putts to win. Just relax, safe Cooper, safe channel, save myself. Don't get this putt. Radar. Radar. Polar bear. Bear. The you the man! Looks like the boys hit a hole in one after all. 
I hate to say it, Mr. Jackson, but I'm glad your son sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I guess I am too, as funny as that sounds. I mean, a million dollars endorsement money was nice, don't get me wrong. Boy, that would have been nice. But I guess you can't put a price on a piece of mind, right? Y'all put it at about a million, too, a million. Oh, just kidding. I guess you learned something from all this, huh? Oh, yeah, many things. Sure. Well, I learned that parents should let their kids follow their own use rather than making them into something they're not. That's very wise, Lamont. And I shouldn't make a meal ticket out of my own kid. Right on. Free? What have you learned about all this? Well, I've learned to keep my weight on my back foot. <laughs>